After the dragon zord failed and Tommy couldn't control it, the rangers wanted to know what happened that day. It was Billy who obviously had to start investigating what was going on with the dragon zord since he is the only ranger with the knowledge necessary to repair a zord. Trini is the only ranger who can understand Billy's words when he tries to explain what is going on since she is so intelligent that her way of speaking is hard for most people to understand. Even though Trini understands, she still isn't smart enough to be able to fix the Zords herself. They are both trying to repair the Dragon Zord, and the explanation Billy says is that the Zords make a balance between what they feel on the outside and the Ranger who is controlling it. If one of these two parts fails, then the Zord goes out of control. This is the first time Billy is going to enter the cockpit of the Dragon Zord and so he is a little nervous as he doesn't know what he is going to find in there. He thinks that the Zord might be made of some unknown magic since Rita was the one controlling Tommy, but Trini clarifies to him that Tommy is just like the other Rangers. Billy tells her that Tommy is just like the other Rangers, a fighter like the others. This is because Billy has never been a fighter and has always been a person who solves things with his intellect. Trini tries to encourage him by telling him that no one can do what he does, and she has learned a lot from him. This is why Billy could be the most well-rounded team member since he learned how to fight and is the smartest ranger in history. Possibly, Billy could be the most important member of the team since he has created a lot of technology that the rangers have used, and he has managed to save the other rangers from many difficult situations. Both of them are still trying to repair the Dragon Zord, which is in the depths of the ocean and Billy wants to do it fast to get out of the water. Scorpina continues into Tommy's room and starts threatening him to hand over the power coin. Tommy obviously refuses and tells her that Rita must be desperate to have to send a stand-in. At that moment, Tommy's mother comes to the door of the room to offer him food and Scorpina tries to use this moment to further threaten Tommy. Because of this, Tommy gets very angry and after pushing Scorpina's sword, he grabs her by her arm and teleports to a faraway place. She takes advantage of this moment to break Tommy's communicator since she thinks that now in this place, he will not be able to get help and now she will be able to defeat him. Tommy realizes the situation, so he does Morphin to start fighting. The battle begins and Tommy tries to attack with his dragon dagger, but Scorpina defends herself very well with her sword. Then she underestimates Tommy and tells him that he should think things over before fighting an experienced warrior when he is so young. She is a great warrior with many skills, and this is demonstrated when she disappears without Tommy noticing. Then she appears above him and attacks him hard. At the end we can see that Scorpina now has many putty patrollers behind her ready to attack Tommy. We now see Jason as a teacher in a martial arts class and apparently his students respect him a lot. Kimberly is sitting waiting for the class to end so she can talk to Jason and enjoys listening to the students. The two begin a dialogue and she tells Jason that she just wanted to get out of her house since her parents are still fighting. Then she also tells him about what happened with Tommy and now she thinks he might not even be noticing her. Jason tells her that class is over, so he needs some coffee and invites her over in case she still wants coffee. Kimberly accepts the invitation and just then Jason's martial arts teacher shows up. She recommends to Jason that he should bring Tommy to teach the class together since he has a different fighting style because he comes from another place and that would be good for the students. In Jason's words we can notice that he didn't like this idea very much, but he still said he would think about it. At that moment, the communicator rings and Zordon tells the rangers that Tommy needs help. In the middle of Tommy's battle, we can see the words of Rita who is explaining what is truly going on as she has a hidden plan. Scorpina's sword has the Chaos Crystal, and every hit Tommy takes, 
fills this crystal with energy. Rita chose Tommy because he never gives up and she knew he was going to keep fighting. This is going to keep causing the crystal to keep filling with energy and she will be able to complete her plan. Despite this, Rita wants Scorpina to take the power coin from him as she says this will get them the victory. Tommy is losing the battle and now Scorpina is going to try to take the power coin from him. At that moment, Jason and Kimberly arrive to save Tommy by firing their blasters at Scorpina. Jason starts fighting Scorpina while Kimberly tries to free Tommy using the blaster sword. Then Zack arrives to help the rangers as well and Scorpina continues to threaten the rangers by telling them that Armageddon is coming. When Kimberly finally frees Tommy, Tommy starts running to try to catch up to Scorpina saying that he can't let her escape. Despite this, Scorpina escapes and Tommy is left very confused in the middle of the forest as Rita starts talking to him again. She tries to turn him against the other rangers by telling him that Jason wouldn't have needed help and basically making him feel like a failure. She also tries to make him think that the other rangers think he is a failure, and this is why they must come help him. Although Tommy tries to stop Rita from playing with his thoughts, she manages to make him start to get confused. Because of this, Tommy tries to defend himself from the rangers by explaining everything that happened since they are confused. The rangers don't understand how Tommy was with Scorpina in that place and Tommy thinks that they are accusing him. Rita's words really have Tommy very confused, and this has started to create misunderstandings among the rangers. At the command center, the rangers along with Zordon try to figure out Rita's plan as they understand that she is after Tommy's power coin and is going to try anything to get it. Rita keeps talking to Tommy in his thoughts and tells him that the right decision is to give the coin to her. Despite this, Tommy says that he doesn't care what she tries, but he's not going to give her the power coin or the dragon sword. Kimberly then asks Billy and Trini if they managed to figure out what was going on with the dragon sword. Billy begins to explain that basically the sword was fine, but for some unknown reason the dragon sword stopped obeying Tommy. Rita takes this opportunity to tell Tommy that he is to blame for this and that he is to blame for the destruction of the bridge. Suddenly, Tommy shouts very angrily and says that he is tired of all this, the annoying talk and all. At that moment, he could no longer continue talking and fainted. 